Hi everyone, this is Sam from BoardAtWork.com and today we're taking a look at the Duo Gamer for the iPad. So any iPad you have, and I'm sure it's going to work with the iPad Mini as well because all it does is it connects the controllers via the, um, the device's Bluetooth. So you're connected between your two devices using Bluetooth and um, you, you have um, your controller here that actually controls um, only specific game loft games. Not all game loft games, I, sh I should point this out, just specific game loft games. And uh, it's very interesting because uh, right on the back here you have a few of them. Um, so it says download any of these and other top rated game loft apps from the Apple uh, from the App Store. Now what it doesn't point out is yes, download any of these, but not, but not any top rated app because not all top rated game loft apps are going to work with this device. Now in the packaging itself, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about what comes in the package. In the package you have the stand which is just a standard stand, and you can see the Gameloft branding on um, the stand, as well as the controller, the, um, the Bluetooth controller. Now, the controller itself is actually a very basic controller. It uh, actually reminds me of the, um, the Wii Classic controller. Up, down buttons, left, up, down, left, right, a regular D-pad, two analog sticks, um, an X, Y, A, B button, so four, um, Four buttons on, on, on the right side of it. Um, you have your pause slash power button in the middle and at the top of it you have a left, call it a left trigger button and a right trigger button and that's about it. That's a, a, simp a simple um, a simple uh, key Ugh, controller. Sorry I lost my words there for a second. A simple controller. Now let's take a look at um, you know how this all fits together. Now, what, what I did notice is I had to take my case off. I have a pretty bulky case that comes with my iPad because I, I do let my little nephews play on my iPad sometimes. So it's um, it's a little bit of uh, it's it's a little bit of a hassle to actually take my case off in order to use this um, stand. However, when my nephews are playing with this uh, with my iPad with this stand, they're not going to be really playing, you know, moving the iPad as much. So it probably pays off that you know the device is um, pretty much safe. Uh, I would say. So let's go ahead and turn the iPad on. Now I already um, launched the game, so um, we can go. We can basically skip all the cutscenes. But let's take a look first at settings. Now on our settings, we'll go straight to Bluetooth, and we can see that the Duo Gamer is connected, as indicated by the blue light here. The blue light has two functions, right? The first is to tell you that the device is on. And the second is to let you know if the device is still in pairing mode, which would have a flashing blue light, or if it's been paired, which would have a solid blue light. Now, we'll go to the game. Oh, dang it. Let's boot that up. <clears throat> Hopefully I have the volume turned all the way up so you can hear me try to frag a few um, baddies. So, let's go. Right. Um, go to campaign mode, and we'll continue the game I was playing. Well, it looks as though launching the game prior to hand doesn't really save you on the um, cutscenes. Oh boy. Now, just uh, a little bit about my experience gaming with this device. I've I've played um, other first-person shooter games on the iPad before and I can guarantee you that you're not gonna have as enjoyable an experience playing a first-person shooter game as you would using this controller to play a first-person shooter game on your iPad. This really makes first-person shooters playable, you know? So I only have this app that actually works with, um, with the um, with, with the controller, but there are other apps out there, not necessarily first-person shooters. I'm sure they're like dungeon, um, uh, should I say, uh, RPG games um, that actually um, work with the um, device as well. For a full list of exactly um, games that work with the device, just um, take a look at the blog and um, I'll try to put as uh, comprehensive a list as possible of all the games that actually work with um, the Duo Gamer controller. Now I'm going to press A to get us going. Alright, so 
Okay, so I died a second ago over here. X to skip. Now to zoom in, you need your left trigger and to fire your right trigger. Now also, you could use your special abilities using B. That's a grenade. You can um, reload with your X. And, oh, I'm sorry, special abilities with Y and grenades with B. So let's go. Let's, let's try to take care of these baddies right here. Trying to keep this on here. Okay. All right. Now, that's just a little bit of uh, basically how using the control. You can see it's pretty responsive, left to right, left to right. You know, direction button, left to right, left to right, left to right. Now, it's, a ve it's very responsive using your Bluetooth, um, your Bluetooth connection. I'm just gonna pause this using the middle button. And um, that's it, that's basically it. Um, it's an amazing device. Yes, it is a little bulky if you have to pack this all together if you're traveling. But um, if you know you have a situation where you you have a few, if, uh, you yourself want want to play a first person shooter on your iPad because let's say you're on a trip, or you have kids <clears throat> you have the kids around and um, you want them to um, you know play a game on the iPad without um, you know turning on the console. Hey, this is. I would say an impressive device. It really did impress me because I had a little bit, uh, a little misgiving as to exactly how you would use a controller on the iPad, but I have been duly impressed. Once again, this is the Duo Gamer from Gameloft for your iPad, and um, this has been Sam for BorderWork.com. Enjoy your entertainment.